Sarah here with a creative team layout for you today for UK Scrap Addicts. This month we're focusing on sparkle, so anything glittery goes, so sequins, glitter, that kind of thing. So for this layer I'm using a picture of my little boy when he was tiny and going for a bit of a starry sky kind of vibe to it. So to begin with I'm just going to grab this stencil, I have this heavy body gel um, by Prima and I'm going to spread that through this stencil. I don't want to use loads of mixed media on the background because the paper I'm using is absolutely stunning so it really doesn't need much but I just wanted to add some glitter, a little bit of texture so I do use a couple of stencils and I just spread this um, medium through it then I've gone into my glitter supply I've got glass glitter which is thicker and then I've got these really fine glitters which I decided to use so they were just really cheap off eBay and I've used three different colors on there as well as white and I just tipped that off so I've got a bit of a swirly effect on the background then I go back in add more gel once I've cleaned it up with a brush go in more gel this time with a star stencil and just spread it, the colour and the glitter out around the page um, and then I just use up more off that glitter that's left over there I pour it on tip it back off then pour it over again and let it sit on top of the gel so that it dries stuck to the gel and it sticks really well to this gel that I'm using and the gel is a kind of opaque ish white colour but when it dries, it dries clear, so it works brilliantly for knowing where you've applied it. You can see really easily where it is. I'm grabbing now some glitter white paper or card somewhere in the middle between the two just to back my photo on. And then I'm also using some tool here as well, which I trim down. And I just do a double layer of this just to sit behind my photo as well. Um, for most of the products that I am using today, they are actually all from Tonson's Craft Supplies, including the um, Galaxy Kit, which I am using here. I will link all these things below for you if you do want to go and check it out, because um, Louise does still have a couple of these kits left with all the spacey theme going on with them. Um, now I'm just using some of this holographic paper, um, also from Thompson's Craft Supplies, and um, I think it's the box of crayons, Chamel. And then as well as that, I layer on some holographic word paper and then a bit of washi behind that as well, just to build up a few layers. And I do also pop it all up on top of foam so that it does um, pop off the page a little bit as well. For my title, there is obviously the word sparkle on there, which is kind of relevant to this month's theme, but I do go for dream because it is a picture of one of my many, many pictures of my little boy asleep when he was tiny. And here I'm just uh, jigsawing together some foam. I really need to get some more. I'm down to literally the last scraps now. And I just use this instead of foam tape because it's way cheaper and you can use well normally i'd use a full piece behind my photo and just leave enough of a gap around the edge just to tuck in extra embellishments if i wanted to on this i don't want to go heavy with the embellishments because i think this the paper really speaks for itself and then obviously there's a lot of glitter on there a lot of um, stars and shapes and then as you can see now i will be adding those beautiful sequins also from that same kit as well as some of the stickers that I also showed you there. I'm using the um, 3D gel medium to put these down. This also dries clear, so it works really nicely with sequins, and it's a really, really strong adhesive as well, so I do highly recommend it. And you can just use whatever you want to um, stick these down. I'm just dabbing it onto the brush that I used to stick the photo down with. You could use a paintbrush if you want to be really accurate with it. Just checking everything's stuck down there. I didn't make you watch the entire thing of me sticking sequins. It was a labour of love, but you know, sequins are. <laughs> I'm now adding some of these stickers also from the same kit. I decided not to use the um, metallic stars as well. I just felt they were too dull for the overall look I was going for here. So I decided to instead use some of these crystal 
drops, Nuvo, I think they're glitter drops, these ones. And they're in silver, so they'll dry clear with glitter in them. And then I just finish off the whole thing with a few splashes of colour. I use some Heidi Swap Colour Shine. I also use some Lindy's Stamp Gun um, sprays as well in um, teal, fuchsia, um, mustard, and then a purpley plum colour, which I'm not sure the name of. If you really want to know the names of these sprays, just leave me a comment below and I will list them for you. So once I've splashed on some of these, of course I do cover my photo up, I don't want splashes all over that as well. Um, I give them a good shake as well before I use them because they are mica powder ones, which is how they manage to stay shiny even though they're on quite a dark background. I finish with the mustard one here because there is a hint of yellow in the um, night sky and I just felt like it popped really nicely on the dark areas of the layout. And that is me done today, so thanks for joining me. Please do check out all the other girls' layouts over in the Facebook group, on YouTube. And if you haven't already and you want to subscribe to my personal channel, I will also link that below. And if you're on my personal channel, I will link UK Scrap Addicts too. So thanks for joining me. Stay tuned for close-ups. Bye!